a couple of potholes right there. They're everywhere, folks. It's not just Dallas, but uh, Mayor Mike Rawlings kind of got an earful on social media the day with Troy Aikman, who, by the way, doesn't live in Dallas. No, but I still listen to Troy. I love Troy. Yeah, yeah but, a... but he said our, our Dallas streets are the worst. I mean, it's like being in a third world country in some Well, you know, he speaks the truth that they're bad. They are not the worst. We don't even make the top 10. A top 10 list came out the other day, and we didn't make the top 10. Thank God. Yeah. But let me tell you, they are un unsatisfactory as far as I'm concerned. Dallas has always had good streets, and we, we're a car culture. We've driven a lot. Sure. And this last year, it's been terrible. 35% more potholes were created this year than last year right. because of that tough winter we had. And during the winter, you'd go in and patch them and then, because you can't use, you, you yeah, can't it, do a permanent fix exactly. when it's cold outside. We use this thing called cold mix because everybody wants to get it fixed real quick. Right. And it did. And guess what happened? The rains came. <laughs> Noah's rains came and flooded all those things out. So we had to redo them, uh, so, many of them. So what's uh, the long-term fix is something like, is it, seriously, the, the, the figure is $900 million just to get close the, to okay? It, it's, it's a little math gone wild there. But I mean, if you want 87% of the streets at satisfactory levels, mm -hmm. and that's not brand new, perfect, uh, $900 million. Because you have to go back into the infrastructure and a lane mile, not a street mile, but a lane mile cost about a million dollars to completely redo. It, it, revenue is up now uh -huh. because, because the economy is recovering. Uh, so this deferred maintenance, the question is, with revenue up, do you spend all of the new revenue? Or Because an awful lot of your taxpayers right now are saying, oh, the value of my home is up. And, and my property I'm, taxes are going up. That's right, my property taxes are going up. So yeah. what do you do with that? I mean, there's, first of all, we got to get our libraries back open to full tilt. Mm -hmm. We closed a bunch of them. We've got some basic uh, park stuff. The police need some stuff. So we're going to have to spend more money in streets. What we're going to debate at city council is do we roll back the tr tax rate, okay, yeah. give the money back to people, or put it into these streets. It'll be very interesting to see what the council says and voters. I want to. I want to listen to citizens. Well, on this. And, and some other cities, you're kind of. It's kind of a mixed blessing being in Texas because you have to have a balanced budget. We do. We you, do. You can't be Chicago and yeah. be uh, 18 billion dollars in debt. And we're all, always in a great situation now. In uh, the year 17, 2017, we're going to have a bond uh, offering mm -hmm. probably, and that will give us a chance to sell some bonds to do some bigger pieces of this road. But we're not going to do it $900 million. Right. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, maybe, I, I don't know, $100 million? It'll, it'll take a piece of this. You have water lines, sewer lines that need to be replaced. You have street lights. That, that whole system is way out of date. You know, the city spent the bond money well in the last floods. We didn't have any flooding. Yeah. Think about that. And all the, all the water we had down there at the Trinity. So that money was spent well. But, you know, we're getting old as a city. I got a hip replacement. I'm getting old. And that's what this city needs. It's, it's, it needs some hip replacements. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I guess it, people complain about it. But the question, you, what you got to find out as, the, as, as an elected official is, are they willing to pay for it? You're willing that's to take some point. pain. The, another problem is a lot of us, I don't live in the city of Dallas. I use your streets every day. Thanks very much. Well, we appreciate you coming down and buying lunch and giving sales tax. We'd love to have some property tax with you too, but uh, you don't. You live all over the place. We've got hundreds of thousands of people that come down here and work, uh, a pass through, enjoy our city, yep. uh, but uh, we don't have the revenue. But uh, look, times are good. I'm not whining. We're going to be we're going to be in a good place. These are tough decisions, yep. and we're going to need uh, citizens and voters to kind of give us their thoughts. You know, right. uh, uh, do they want to pay for this? Because I think we're committed to spend the money right. in the streets. All right, and Troy Aikman could write you a big check too. Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> I love Troy. Yeah.